Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're 0909 back here uh, for another video, and I'm uh, about half tired. Um, everybody knows what today is. Uh, Batman and Killing Joke is released. So I'm going to go down to uh, Target and uh, try to pick it up. Uh, I set my alarm for 8, and uh, of course my alarm did not go off. So it's now 9 o'clock, so I just jumped up out of bed. And I'm going to run down there locally. locally. Luckily, uh, one of the big things, or not good things about living in the city is uh, a lot of stores are, are close so you don't have to travel you know 20 miles to go find a target or a best buy or whatnot so there's a target literally at the end of my street so uh i'm gonna go down there i'm gonna walk i was gonna drive if i got up at eight but now that i'm i'm running a little late i'm going to uh i want to just walk down and uh I'm gonna get the steel book i'm not i'm not i would have gotten a steel books had they started releasing them when they first started releasing the the animated movies but unlike OCD with collecting the same edition so most of my editions actually all are the slip covers I've always skipped out on the uh, steel books but uh, I want to get this on a steel book just because I love the book and I'm sure the movie's going to be awesome uh, and I wanted the dark well the Dark Knight Returns I'm, I'm on the hunt for that now um, obviously when it came out they had plenty of them I didn't want it because again I didn't want to collect the steel book having all the slip covers so I skipped out on it, and now I'm like, you know what? I want to get it because I really enjoyed that movie. Um, and I went on eBay to try to find it because obviously Target doesn't have it. None of the stores have it. You can't just buy it anywhere. So I had to go on eBay, and it's literally like $150, $200 unopened. I found one the other day, um, but it had like some dents and some scratches and, and stuff all over it. And I think it sold for like 60 So I'm going to be back on a hunt for that because I really want to get that. The, the deluxe, the deluxe, the Batman Returns deluxe. Uh, steal from Target. So um, I'm going to go get my, not my keys, my wallet, and uh, we're going to walk down to Target. So we're so there she goes. Let's take a walk. I'm not going to record this because you can see my phone's jumping all over. I have no stability with these these hands of mine, so I'll shoot some more video when I get closer. Somebody come out here and pull these damn weeds. Look how trashy this target looks. Weeds all the frig over. I'm about to come out here with some some weed killer for them. Too lazy to open the doors myself. Hey, what's up, guys? So, back here just for a quick finish of this. Um, apologies, I didn't get any uh, any footage inside Target. But as I was walking down to, to my target, um, my buddy was actually walking out the guy, Dama, who I had in a video before. And I actually talked to him for a little, before, uh, a little bit before I went in. And he told me they didn't have any steel books of, well, you'll see, you'll see what movie I picked up, but I'll have it on the, uh, the uh, thumbnail. But they didn't have any steel books for uh, um, The Killing Joke. So I was like, are you kidding me? So I didn't even waste my time going in. I went and looked up on my phone and saw that uh, a Target in New Jersey, I'm over in Philly, but a Target in New Jersey about a half hour away had them in. So at first I was like, you know what, I'll just forget it, whatever. Maybe I'll get it online or something like that. I went online, they didn't have any. Not sold in stores, these were only two places that had it. So, you know, I was like, you know, half of the thrill, like I've said before, is the hunt. So I decided to get in my car and drove over to, uh, to, to Jersey. Um, but I have a story about that. So I called before I'd gone over just to see if they had any to make sure, you know, that, that this, the, what Target.com told me was true. So they said they had them. Uh, I drove over there about a half hour. I go into the store. 
Um, I'm looking. Yeah, I was going to record two when I got back there to, when they showed, you know, when they had them so I could show them off. I went back there. They had none, only the regular edition. So I'm looking around all the different, you know, aisles. Can't find it. Find an employee that works there and ask him to come help me. Um, he goes over and walks behind the counter. They have a little counter with a couple of cash registers in that electronic section. So he goes back there and he looks uh, and he hands me one of the, uh, the editions with the figure in there, which I don't want. Right next to that, I see one copy of the Steelbook. So I'm like, oh, no, no, the uh, the Steelbook. So there's a note on there. So he goes over there and he sees his note and he's looking and he's like, okay, hold on, let me go check. He goes back to where I was, looks again, don't have them. He says, I think that one we were holding for somebody, they had called in for it. So he goes over and talks to another lady and I hear them, you know, kind of going back and forth. He's like, yeah, there's this guy here looking for the Steelbook. Uh, we have a copy, but somebody called and she's like, oh, it's the guy that called. And he's like, oh, I'm not sure. So um, she comes over to me. She says, are you guy called? And uh, I said, yes. Uh, she says, oh, okay, um, you were supposed to call back. And I said, oh, I, I didn't get a chance to. I'm sorry. And I forget who I spoke to. She's like, oh, okay. So uh, I went over and she she peeled the sticker off of whoever had called and gave me that copy. So I don't know if you guys, is that a dick move or not? Let me know. Um, I've never done that before. Usually, I'll you know, I'll just wait for you know wait for my turn or maybe i'll find it online or maybe they'll get them later but um me having dr driven that half hour and i had to pay the five hour bridge toll to get back into philly and when i called them up originally and they said they had them i felt like uh, i don't know i i didn't want to leave empty-handed and all that driving i felt like i'd kind of deserved a copy of it so i kind of feel like a douche because the guy that's going to come there and look for his copy it's not going to be there because i got it and i found that crazy they only had one copy none no stores in, in my area in philly had any they were all to stock the thing that pisses me off though now is what i thought would happen i drove over this morning i just recently before i turned this on this camera on to record this um look back on an updated list of the stores that had it and some of the stores in philly are getting it now so i'm like are you kidding me of course i drove over there being impatient but you know i sometimes i like driving for these you know it's, it's kind of fun especially if you go in there and, and and you find it like i did but anyway um here it is Apologies, the light is not too great out here, but the killing joke, still book here. I'm going to open it up real quick, just show you guys inside. I'm sure by the time I put this out, 50 people will have already made videos for this, but I just wanted to get this out. I looked in those two stores too. I actually, um, I went in my Target the other day and I went to the, uh, the Target over in Jersey. I'm looking for that Dark Knight Returns Deluxe Edition Steelbook, just hoping maybe it was floating around somewhere. It's not. So, I don't know if any, anybody knows where I can find one, or I'll just go back on eBay and eventually get one. Pay a little more than I want to, but it is what it is. All right, it's taking me a little bit here. I don't want to completely ruin the cellophane. I want to kind of slide that back on there, so. Nice glossy finish on there. Really, really nice. You got the J card here. Take that off. Oh, look at that. Wow. A really 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 nice image on the back here hold on get that glue off of that look at that wow that is really really nice like i said you got the front there you got the spine i was thinking too when i went and picked this up i'm like you know what's going to happen because of the fact that i pulled that douche move while i'm driving home something's going to happen like my car's going to break down or i'm going to forget to have you know forget to have my toll money or something bad is going to happen luckily nothing happened so we're all good, but let me turn these around here. All right, so here's the inside there. Two discs, a little bit of our work on them. And you've got the Blu-ray and DVD. Oops, that's right. DVD just fell right there, so it's pretty nice inside artwork too. See Joker there on the computer. Back girl over there. Really, really nice. Here's the uh, complete. Yeah, I'm really glad I picked this up. Like I said, I'm I'm, I'm OCD, so I kind of wanted to stick with uh, just the slipcover versions because of the fact that that's most of what I have. But I'm assuming I'm really going to like this movie and um, The Dark Knight Returns. I'm trying to get that steelbook too. But other than that, it's going to be all all slips for me. But and the thing that was crazy too that uh, this is only seven sixty ninety nine. The slipcover version is $16.99, and the steelbook was only $16.99, so I thought that was a really good deal. 
So I uh, haven't checked it out yet. Obviously, I just bought it. Um, I might actually, the Blue Limit Soldiers are doing a um, uh, Tales from the Bat Cave tonight, and they're going to watch this. And I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to actually just wait till tonight and watch it with them guys when they go on and uh, come back and forth. And another thing, too, uh, Blue Limit Soldiers are doing uh, a watching, uh, you know, Wicked Wednesday tomorrow of the remake of The Evil Dead, and they invited me on. So if any of you guys want to check that out tomorrow, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, I think it's going on, so you can head on to the Blue Limit Soldiers YouTube page and watch live there. You can comment, you know, there's a chat on the site, you can comment back and forth with us and, and with them and with everybody else that's, that's watching. So there you go, just quick unboxing or unpackaging. It's not really an unboxing because I didn't get out of a box, but unwrapping, there we go, an unwrapping of the Batman, the Killing Joke steelbook. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for commenting. Later.